Mm. A little trick with your pansies when uh, the blooms, you know, are done blooming. For that time, just pick them off. Like that one's kind of close enough back gone. See this one? Checked out. Of course, that's a brand new one coming on, so you don't want to pull that one. There's another good old one right there. Just pick them off. That'll actually help it or encourage it to bloom more. Bruh. Bruh, I'm telling you. It is thick. I mean, thick, thick. Holy cow. I went about, what did I go, about seven days without mowing it. And we've had some pretty ideal weather here in North Carolina. So um, it is thick and bushy and shaggy and just oh man i love this time of year look how thick it is so i need to mow and get ready for uh next weekend look look at the grass trampled down that's how tall it's gotten in uh seven days isn't that crazy but i like to have things cleaned up and looking good for the holidays for thanksgiving uh, test plot back here looks really good. I mowed this last weekend and two days later we got a really good hard frost. First one of the year. It hadn't grown a lick since. It has not grown one bit. So uh, that frost kind of stunted it a little bit, which is normal. The bluegrass back here is looking, it looks some kind of good. Look at that right there. The rye grasses looking good. Fescues are right in here roll fescue right here looking good here's gci turf type doll fescue looking good and here's one of those new fescues back here looking good i am getting a little bit of broadleaf popping up and i'll do a video here pretty soon and show you how to clean that up and by the way those of you that are keeping up and wondering about the camera thing this is the gopro 9 it's on the 2.7K, and I've got that new lens mod with that max field of view. So we'll try this one uh, in this video. Wife just called me, I got blueberry muffins. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I got my belly full now, let's go. Well, that right there looks good, uh, but I think I think I just want to cross it up. I don't really have a reason for wanting to cross it up. I just want that look in my yard today. So I'm gonna go back and cut it this way, direct opposite of my first lines, and we'll make a bunch of boxes in the yard. I think that'll be pretty cool.
Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And I think I'm in a shadow right here. This new camera I'm trying to still figure it out. But I think I got it. I got me a new microphone. I think it's going to work really, really well. So when we're at the shop and all that road noise going up and down the road, uh, this should fix it, I hope. Let's move over here. I think I'm, I'm, I really am trying to get a little bit nerdy on my camera stuff and trying to figure it out. You know, the yard turned out pretty good. It's looking probably the best it's ever looked in the fall or spring since I've been living in this home. You know, I've been using some new fertilizers and trying them out on my yard and the results I'm getting are absolutely phenomenal. To be honest with you, I really can't get over the color of the yard. It is as dark of a green as I've ever seen it. And when I ride down the road, I pay attention to yards and, you know, look at different yards and things like that. And I honestly can't find one that is quite this dark. I'm humbly saying that, okay? Don't take me the wrong way. I'm not trying to boast or brag or anything like that, but it is what it is, okay? I've always said that. Uh, I don't like sugarcoating nothing and I like to be straightforward with you. And I, I'd have to say it's, uh, it's pretty dark green right now compared to previous years that I've lived in this home. So I wanted the yard to look good, wanted to get it cleaned up for Thanksgiving. Uh, and we really don't have anybody to come over. We, we end up going to uh, my mom and dad's house and then we'll go to my wife's mom and dad's house. We'll do one at lunch and one at supper time. And uh, so really nobody's gonna be here to be honest with you, but I just kind of like for it to look good. You know what I'm saying? So hey, a lot to be thankful for. I mean, a whole lot to be thankful for. And yeah, I know I got the memo. We're in the middle of a pandemic and cases are going crazy and spiking and rising and folks are talking shut down and lockdown and all that kind of stuff. Say, so, I just want to remind you of something today, okay? You see, when you look at me, when you look at this dude on the camera, you see a guy who does yard stuff and yeah, he's a cool dude. He's got a business and all that. But what you don't know about me is this. I'm a liar. I'm a thief. I'm a fornicator. I'm a murderer. I'm a hypocrite. I'm an adulterer. Used to be a druggie. Some of y'all relate to that, I know. And what I am now is a different person. I'm, I'm a happily married man, right? I've got an incredible relationship with my wife. I'm a dad. I've been blessed with the privilege and the honor and the responsibility of being a father to three incredible kids. I'm a friend. I'm a friend to you. I'm a friend to everybody I meet. I typically don't meet strangers. I just, life is too short to meet somebody and not call them friend. I'm a successful business owner. I run two companies now and both do extremely well. But see, I can't take the glory for that, and I'm not going to take the glory for that. A little over 20 years ago, I gave my heart and my life to Jesus. I committed myself to live for Him. I repented of my sin. I turned my life around and said, Jesus, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to trust you with my life, even to the point of death. And when I made that change, God began to do something in my heart, in my mind, in my life. And He radically changed me and took those desires and those wants and those uh, addictions and those things that I wanted in life to try to fill a void. And He replaced it with His grace and His mercy and His love and his forgiveness. And I'm telling you, I am thankful for that. I am thankful that when the man told me about the gospel, I actually listened. You see, now my eternal hope is in him. Everything in life that happens around Pete, it's about Jesus. It has to be about serving the king of the universe. See, a lot of folks put their trust in their self. They put their trust in their family, their friends, their work, 
you know, their profession. You got people that put their trust in politicians and government and, and all that kind of thing. My trust and my faith is in Jesus Christ. So hey, if you take everything I have, you take my equipment, you take my wife, you take my family, you take my home, you take my business, you take my YouTube away, you take everything I own and you burn it to the ground and destroy it, I still have so much to be thankful for because, hey, God loves me, God loves you. And look, I wanna encourage you right here, right now, for the believer, if you're down in the dumps about everything that's going on, get in the Word, get in the Scripture, and let God remind you how good He is and how good He has been to you. Say, so, hey, I'm a changed man because of the Gospel. I just wanna encourage you. You might wanna check it out. So hey, there you go. Uh, Another mow in the books, the yard's looking good. Happy Thanksgiving, so much to be thankful for in the midst of all the chaos, right? I'm getting ready to go get in the truck and do you remember that gentleman, uh, Mr. Long, that we went to his home and we took him some grass seed and we walked around his yard. He's a DIY guy, watches the channel close to me. Well, his yard looks pretty dang good. So I'm getting ready to get in the truck, go over there, take the camera and film and we'll do like an after and we'll go over there and we'll uh, pick his brain and see what all he did. And, and like I said, he's uh, totally and completely, uh, uh, you know, the typical DIY. I know I, I talk DIY all the time, but I got a lawn care company, so I get to use some different equipment and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but he's straight up does everything yourself and so we'll, we'll go over there and talk with him and we'll, we'll kind of go through it step by step and see exactly how he did it and we'll see the results of how you know how his yard turned out so i'm, I'm kind of pumped about that so uh, i'm gonna get on over there and check him out thank you for watching i'll check you later